In this video, I'm gonna tell you the number one reason that Lego has some of the best customer service of any company that I've interacted with as a consumer. It absolutely blew me away when I first learned about it. This unique policy of Lego customer service could help save you money. Now, I think we all love Lego for various reasons. They have a very reliable product. They have consistently good licensed themes that get people excited and new ideas for sets every single year. They know how to give the people what they want. Let's give the people what they want. <laughs> One of the ways they give the people what they want is through designing cool products, but that's not the only way. One crucial way that Lego and many other companies keep their customers satisfied is through good customer service. The real reason why I think Lego has the best customer service is because of their return policy. Some of you may know where I'm going with this, but if you don't have much experience with Lego and their return policy, let me tell you a quick story. So Christmas was a few weeks ago and I was chatting in my Discord server with my community. And yes, I do have a Discord server. You should join it. The link is down below in the description. So I was chatting with some members of my community about our recent Christmas Lego hauls, Lego sets that we were gifted and everyone was super excited to share what they got for Christmas. But a common theme kept coming up. People would be like, oh, I got this set, but I already have that one. Or I'm fairly certain I'm getting a Lego set for Christmas, but I already own two copies of the one that I think I'm getting. This year, it happened to me too. Someone gifted me a set and sent it to me through the mail. And I know they watch this channel. So if you are watching, I very much appreciated the gift. It was a great set. I just already owned it. You always need the receipt to make a return. But in gifting situations, you may not always have the receipt. If it's a close family member, Member, you may be able to ask them to get the receipt, but it's just a fact of life that you're not always going to have it. But if you ever find yourself in this situation, I have some great news. You don't need the receipt to return the set to Lego customer service. That's right, Lego will let you return a set to them even if you didn't buy it yourself and even if you don't have the receipt. And if that sounds weird or if that doesn't sound quite right, I'm right there with you. I did not believe it either, but J Moon in my community had been been through it himself. He said, just as an FYI, you can return sets that you didn't buy if you call customer service. They will set up the return and you can get an e-gift card. What? I was certainly surprised to hear that. That that just can't be right. I needed to see this for myself. So first, I checked the Lego return policy on their website. At the top, it has all the normal stuff. You can return anything within 90 days with the receipt easily online on lego.com, blah, blah, blah. But here near the bottom is the interesting part. Unopened sets that are not accompanied by a shipping confirmation email or a receipt cannot be exchanged or returned to a Lego brand retail store. You can set up a return on lego.com or contact customer service so they can help you. And there it is written in their official policy. You don't even need the shipping email or receipt to make a return. So I figured I might as well give them a call. I made a call to Lego customer service. I let them know the situation that I had a set that was a gift that I didn't have the receipt for that I didn't buy myself. And all they asked me was if the set was purchased on lego.com. I was like, uh, I really don't know, uh, but I don't think so. But the rep on the phone was super nice. He was like, all right, I'll get this return set up for you. I'm gonna send you a shipping label to your email now. You just need to get the set shipped to us and then we'll get you a refund within 14 days of receiving it. And he said all that in such a kind and nice customer service voice. And that was basically it. I said, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for making this happen. I took my set up to UPS, gave them the shipping label that Lego had given me and that was that. Only a few days later, I had an e-gift card in my Lego account for the amount that the set was worth. All in all, this was an amazing experience and I think it's the customer experiences like these that truly create brand loyalty, it's pretty easy to come back to Lego again and again when their customer service treats you like royalty every single time. Oh, sir, you don't have the receipt? That's totally fine. Here is some money for you. But now I am curious about a few different things. So if you have answers to any of these questions, let me know down below in the comments. Their normal return policy is 90 days, but I'm wondering how they check on that 
time limit if you don't have the receipt. And also, they didn't really seem to care where I bought the set, so it seems like they'll accept returns that were purchased at a third party retailer too, like Walmart, um, but I cannot confirm this myself. It might be something to try out someday. The coolest part of this whole thing is they're basically buying the set back from you. In that way, it's barely return policy. It's more like a, hey, give us our stuff back and we'll give you money for it, no questions asked policy. Since it's in return for an e-gift card, you're basically committing to buying more Lego in the future and I think that's probably why they're so chill about it. All in all, I had a great experience with LEGO customer service this holiday season. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Let me know down below in the comments if you've ever tried this successfully and how LEGO has treated you as a customer. Thanks for watching New Brickerton. My name is Michael. If you're new to my channel, consider sticking around and trying out some of my other videos like the one that's about to appear on your screen in a second. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.